It was 5500 BC and the farmers living in a north-central region of Poland, locally called Kujoi, had made a groundbreaking discovery. While preserving goat's milk, they noticed that a watery liquid separated itself naturally from the milk solids when it went sour. While they did put the milk solids to good use by making cheese, they threw away the watery liquid. Little did they know that what they had just discarded as waste would centuries later be prescribed by Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, as a serum. For you all to know, that is whey, we are talking about. Whey protein is the most commonly known dietary supplement in the fitness circle. Besides being one of the oldest, it is also the one that has managed to maintain its place on the shelves amidst all the other modern newfangled supplements. With so much history to it, let us walk along the whey protein's timeline. Although whey was accidentally discovered in 5500 BC it was being thrown away even thousand years later. The cheese making process was developing, but the goodness of the protein rich whey was far unknown. It was 2500 years ago when the health benefits of whey were possibly recognized. In between 460 BC and 330 BC Hippocrates, who was known as the father of modern medicine, started prescribing the watery whey to his patients. This practice of prescribing whey to patients for health benefits was also taken up by another ancient doctor, named Galen, from the Roman Empire around 130 AD. It took a thousand years more for whey protein to be finally developed into a usable liquid form in Italy. People started drinking this usable liquid whey protein as a health tonic. One of the first documented cases about whey protein tells us about its effect on the residents of Geis which was a remote mountain village in Switzerland. It was the mid-1700s and a few people of Geis had fallen sick. Where all traditional means had failed to cure these sickly people, the health tonic that whey protein was, had successfully restored their health. News of this tonic traveled across faster than light. Soon, people from all over Switzerland started arriving at Geis to benefit from whey protein. This saw the opening of a health spa in Geis which was followed by the launch of more than 160 spas not only across Switzerland but also Austria and Germany. The aristocrats and royalty from all over Europe soon made these spas their therapeutical retreats throughout the 18th and 19th centuries. There was one major problem that these spas faced while serving the liquid whey though. With the lack of modern technology, the liquid whey couldn't be stored for more than 10 days and would perish early, resulting in a lot of wastage. While the cheese got processed in the mountain, the liquid whey separated at night required to be transported down the mountains to the spas before the crack of dawn. This tells us how revolutionary it was then to develop the liquid whey in the powder form that we can conveniently store for days together. The invention has been truly benefiting the world ever since whey started getting produced as a powder. It is essential to note that there is a difference between the liquid whey that gets separated from the milk solids and the whey protein powder that we have today. The protein powder is a mixture of proteins, filtered, isolated, and then extracted from the liquid whey which is a byproduct of the cheese making process. This mixture of proteins consisting of alpha-lactalbumin, beta-lactoglobulin, serum albumin, and immunoglobulins is then dried and further processed to land on the market shelves. It was only in recent times, when the overall benefits of whey have been completely recognized thanks to modern science. While it is known to support muscle building and aid fat loss, it also has components that have antioxidant and immunity enhancing properties. From being a byproduct that used to get thrown away to being used as a health tonic by the father of modern medicine, and from being the health potion of the aristocrats and royalty to being the go-to supplement of common fitness athletes, the whey protein certainly has a rich history. With hundreds of years of research and thousands of dollars put in its development, the whey protein is certainly worthy to a glass of cheers.